Hi, I'm Carolyn Stafford of connectmarketing.com.au, the author of Small Business Big Brand and the creator of the Small Business Big Brand 30 Day Marketing Challenge. We've had 12 business owners from all over Australia and New Zealand come together to join the challenge. It started at a one day marketing symposium in Sydney last week where the challengers got together, they were able to tell each other about their business and we worked with them on their marketing plans. They then were given instructions on what to do, they went away, they came back within five days, emailed me their marketing plan and now we're going through the mentoring process to help them refine the plan and focus them for the rest of the challenge. Throughout the course of the challenge, we're going to be filming the businesses and the business owners and giving you some real life case studies on what's working and what's not for them. So you can take away some ideas to use in your business. Throughout the challenge, they're coming together at a weekly teleconference. They have to report to each other how they're going, what's working, what's not. And they'll also learn some more tips from marketing experts who join us on the call. At the end of the challenge, they'll all be asked to vote for who the winner of the challenge should be. And then we come together at a, a gala awards night where the lucky winner will be announced. So we look forward to keeping you up to date with the latest news on what's happening with our challenges. Please come back, visit connectmarketing.com.au, check out our YouTube clips and find out some great ways on how you can market your business more effectively in this current environment. And today I'm here with one of our challengers, Christine Tonkins from Gecko Tots. Hi Christine, how are you? Fine, thank you. Tell us about Gecko Tots. Well, Gecko Tots design and manufacture outdoor clothing for outdoor kids. And you can find us on our website, geckotots.com, or we have 27 outlets in Australia and New Zealand where you can buy the clothes from. Excellent. Uh, tell us why you joined the challenge. Well, we realised that we have to have a proper marketing plan into, in place and a certain focus and learn how to focus on something specifically. We also, with our online shop, um, realised that there is just so much to know and so much to learn. And yes, we were looking for that in our challenge, how people buy online, how do they search online and how to build that into our website. And building a strategy around your online yes. presence. Yes. Great. Tell us, um, we worked together on your marketing plan as part of the challenge and we defined some very specific marketing objectives and tactics. Yes. Tell us about one thing that you're going to focus on. Well, being at the end of summer now, we do have some excess stock left and we wanted to have you know, the normal end of summer sale. But you know, how are we going to make sure that the people are going to buy from us? We've got a lot of customers on our website and we decided with your advice to contact 20 of them and say to them, well, we've got the idea that if you buy a dress, we will basically give you a free t-shirt yeah. that can go with it. So we're going to run that past our customers and ask them, you know, if you get an offer like that, would you be interested in buying? And then also use the opportunity to talk to them about, you know, how do you experience our product? Is there something new or something different that you would like to see? What do you like? You know, that we can work on as well. Excellent. Yes. Great. So by testing it with 20 before you go out to the 1,000, you're going yes. to know what your response rate is going That's to be before you do it to the 1,000 that you've got on your database. So testing is really important and at the same time, not being afraid to pick up the phone and actually talk to our existing customers. That's I think right, yes. we can sometimes hide behind the whole internet thing, can't we? Yes. And, the, and the email newsletters and things like that. And there's nothing like just picking up the phone and having a conversation. Yes. So thank you very much, Christine. Good luck with the challenge. We'll look forward to seeing whether you're one of the winners or not. Thank Thanks. you very much.